Now that you guys have created your line paintings and that they've dried from last class, we're going to experiment a little bit with creating some thick lines by using tape to block off some of the lines you created and then using some paint sticks to create more color. So the first thing we're gonna do today, I'm gonna give you some tape. Everyone's going to get five pieces of tape. The first thing we do with your tape, I want you to take it, I want you to put it on your shirt. So actually tape the tape on your shirt and then take it off. Now it's ready to tape somewhere on your page. The reason we tape it to our shirt first is so it becomes a little less sticky so that when we're ready to put it on the paper, it won't tear or stick to the paper. So I now have all my tape ready to go. And I want you to just look at your painting from last class. And I want you to use the tape to cover up any lines that you just really, really like. The ones that you want everyone to still get to see after we use our paint sticks. You do not have to push down really hard. You are simply covering by lightly putting the tape on top of it. Now, you can make them go horizontal like I've done here. You can cover areas so that they are vertical, like this one here. You can even create lines that are diagonal so that it shows areas that will be diagonal. And if you notice, the lines we painted last class, even though we painted lots of different types of lines, they were all thin lines. This tape is a lot thicker than what we worked with last class. So that means that the paintings we create today are going to end up with some pretty thick lines. Okay, so now that we've added our tape, at your tables you have what are called paint sticks. They come in a big container, just like this, and they look a lot like glue sticks, but they are not. Instead of glue, these have paint inside. Now, it's not wet paint. It's not gonna make your hands super wet, but it's going to create paint on your page. So, you're gonna open it by taking off the lid, just like you would with a glue stick, and do not turn it. I don't want you to turn it, because most of them already have the paint sticking out ready to go. Now, if it gets to where you can't paint at all because there's no more paint showing, then you can take it at the bottom, so let's say I have it and now, oh, there's no paint showing at all here. You can do just a little turn, one, two, until the paint shows. Do not do this where you're turning it so that lots and lots of paint comes out. If you do that, the stick will break and we won't have them to use again, which would be really sad because they're pretty cool. So just a little paint showing. And what you're gonna do is just start by painting over your painting. When you're done, make sure you put it down a little bit, put it back, and grab a new color. We only have one container of these at each table, so make sure you are putting your colors back between using them. And you're just gonna color in all those areas where the tape is not covering, where you can see the paper underneath. It is okay to cover over the lines that you painted last class because we are covering and we're still gonna be able to see some of those lines when we remove the tape. All right, so first I'm coming through and I am making sure that each section of my painting is covered with some kind of paint stick. And then after we cover all of these areas, the fun part begins. Because now that it's covered, I get to go back and I get to add some details to this. Which adding details is what makes it fun, in my opinion. You might have a different opinion, but to me, that's part of the fun, is experimentation with art. All right, so everything's covered up, so now, I'm going to actually just draw with them 
instead of just covering things up. So I may choose to come in and create some more wavy lines. I might want to come through and create some dotted lines, but I am adding some lines on top of the areas that I've painted in. And you can do this with any colors. You can kind of go back over some of your lines so that they show up better. We're just trying to add more lines on top of our lines, on top of our lines, so that we have just lots of lines showing in our artwork. Ooh, I kind of like my diagonals there. I think maybe I'll go the other direction and create some diagonals across the top. And I've got one more little section to fill in. And you know what? I didn't like how this one turned out. I'm going to do some vertical lines on that one. Okay. Last one, guys. Let's do purple. Purple's fun. I'm going to do a swirly line there. Okay. Now, here is the magic. Are you ready for some magic? Once you have covered all the areas in with your paint and you have made lines on top of your paint stick areas, now it's time to remove the tape. And let's see what happens when I pull the tape off. And remember, you should not have stuck it down very tightly. You should not have pressed down hard or your paper might rip. But as I remove it, you'll notice the tape is creating a thick line that shows where you painted last class. So it's showing the lines that you made last class and the paper. So now we have a painting that has tons of lines. We've got thick lines. We've got thick lines. We've got thin lines. We've got lines of every color. Now, if you do get some that tears a little bit like this, you ask for help, I will try to help you. But usually, if it tears, you can take your finger and kind of press it back down. There we go. Now I've got a painting with thick lines, thin lines, all kinds of lines. All right, guys, let's get started.